I could not sleep Wondering who she was and what I said Troubled mind And I'm afraid That I'll never see that girl again I can't believe the day has finally come. In the next couple of hours, I will finally get to call you my husband. I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I knew the day we saw each other in that bar, God put you in my life for a reason. I've never met anyone that can calm my nerves with just a simple hug like you can. I love how you recognize and cherish how strong I am, but can also recognize when I've been broken down. God knew I needed you in my life today. As I become your wife, I promise to forever be your best friend. I promise to be a listening ear when you've had a rough day. I promise to laugh with you at dumb things, even if I don't think they're funny. I promise to continue to tell you where your things are, even when you ask, even though you didn't look for them. I promise to try not to get upset when you leave your dirty clothes in the hallway. And I promise to try not to get annoyed when you ask me for my food a hundred times. Most importantly, I promise to stay faithful to you. I promise to cherish your hard work that provides for me and one day will provide for our future family. You are the hardest working, most compassionate, loving person I know. I know my dad would look down with a huge smile. He would have been honored to have you as a son-in-law. And I'm honored to have you as my future wife. I love you more, babe. Now let's get freaking married. Alexis, I can't think of any better way to start this letter than by simply saying I love you. We say these three words to each other every day, but today we get to show the world just how much we mean it. Today we start our lives as man and wife, and I can honestly say nothing can make me happier. The thought of getting to spend the rest of my life with you brings me true joy, and I'm so thankful you're in my life. I can't wait to see my beautiful bride walk down the aisle toward me. I love you, and I can't wait for you to become my wife. P.S. I love you. stand here today to mark this occasion, we remembered that what matters most <laughs> is not the ceremony itself, <laughs> but the love and companionship you will continue to share throughout your life together. Ty and Alexis' story began quite simply. It started with the pencil. <laughs> they shared a class together, a and M, kept oogling each other throughout the semester, but never really said anything. On the last day of finals, he came up and asked, do you have a pencil I can borrow? <laughs> she said, sure. And after class, they weren't able to meet up or anything. And so all hope was lost, or was it? <laughs> so three months later, they both were at a bar that they frequented often. <laughs> <laughs> and lo and behold, Ty and Alexis spot each other from across the room. I'm not even sure Hallmark could write a better second chance encounter. <laughs> Ty walked up to Alexis and casually said, hey, I think we had that class together. And Alexis, trying to play it cool, <laughs> was like, um, okay. And he goes, remember, I asked to borrow a pencil. She said, oh yeah, I do remember that. So then he said, may I buy you a drink? And here we are, a little over four years later. <laughs> Today, Ty and Alexis have chosen to braid three strands together into a single cord. Each strand has a significant meaning. The first strand represents God and His Majesty. The second strand represents the groom and his life. The third strand represents the bride and her life. In braiding these three strands together, Ty and Alexis have demonstrated that their marriage is more than a joining of two lives together. It is a unity with God as well. Now it's the time we've all been waiting for. By the power vested in me in the state of Texas, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ty, you may kiss your bride. Let us welcome for the very first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Ty Bachelor.
what's your name? I know I'll never be the same. Yeah. You've been changing me from trying so hard not to play the fool. Do you know that you're beautiful? You've been changing me. Just take some time. They are both the most hardworking couple that I know, and when you're around them, you can really see the love that they have for each other. Alexis and Ty, I am so thankful that I was able to be a, smarter, a part of your special day, and I wish you both a lifetime of happiness as you start this new chapter in your lives. Miss Alexis, I think I speak for everyone as well when I say you look absolutely stunning tonight. You are a beautiful bride and the absolute perfect person for my best friend. I can't tell y'all how nervous he really was studying for that final that y'all heard about when he forgot the pencil. And it wasn't because he was nervous about the test. It took him all day to build up the courage just to leave the pencil at home to ask her for a new one. With that being said, I wish everyone here would raise their glasses and let's give a big old toast to the bachelors. Congratulations. She's not the one you want to be ours. I love you. I love you, baby.